much of you guys you're going to have to uh, go into up front? Uh, just aggressively, defensively. Uh, getting a good job of you know, using our bodies, our hands, good stops in there too. I think you guys had the ball for about 50 seconds to start that overtime. Just couldn't get it to go down. Can those possessions be, be tough for momentum um, when that happens like that? Uh, yeah, no. I mean, it happens like that sometimes. What was your, I guess, take on the, the first half when they made as many threes as they did it and what you guys were able to adjust to out of that? Uh, we just stepped late. You know, they was moving the ball. Uh, when you were chasing the ball all night, it's, it's tough, especially when they're making shots. So I thought we picked it up after the first quarter. Of course, we're going to fight back to get to overtime, but then they outscore you all 13 to 4. Uh, what did you see as some of the offensive issues that were happening in the overtime period? I don't know. I look at it and see. Nick gave you a, a nice comment there when he was out at midcourt. I'm just curious what your thoughts were on tonight in that aspect of it. Oh, man. Uh, I can't really. This short amount of time won't be enough for me to explain, but just, uh, you know, I love Nick like a brother and just, you know, appreciative to be able to uh, be able to play uh, with him his whole time when I was here. Um, and, you know. Russell, was it frustrating kind of the, the up and down? Of this period of yard in where you know you would get some defensive stops in that fourth quarter and then the offense goes away in the overtime period. Can that be frustrating uh, just being out there in that? Um, yeah. Anything else? Thanks, Russ. Thanks, Russ.